Oh boy, you guys are gonna love this news. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. That's right, I got some really great news for GPUs this week, and first starting off with some absolutely fantastic news for the RTX 40 series, and this all started with a tweet that came from Compite 7 kini all the way back on May 5th, where he said, how many T-flops does 8102-400 reach? Now this was a poll, and the majority actually answered by saying that 8102 or the RTX 4090-4090 Ti would have 100 teraflops, which would be an absolutely massive increase over the current RTX 3090. Now below that, Cop 87 Kimi actually responded by saying thanks to everyone, I still support the majority this time. Now fast forward to May 18th, and here's where things get very, very interesting, because he actually stated, quote, how can we get 100 teraflops from 8102? Let a full chip 8102 run at 2.8 gigahertz, which is some very, very interesting information because I think for a long time, a lot of us, me included, have been assuming that the RTX 4090 or even 4090 Ti would probably cap out somewhere around between 2.4 to 2.6 gigahertz. So talking about 2.8 gigahertz is absolutely incredible, but wait, because it gets even more insane. Because below that, he states, quote, it's easy to reach 2.8 gigahertz, at least not very hard. Then below that, he states, I must say, we can expect a much higher frequency. And then just recently, videocards.com responded by saying, much higher than 2.8 gigahertz, and he responds by saying, it can be done. So yeah, that's some really interesting information because again, we've been expecting a lot lower numbers out of the clock speed of the RTX 40 series, but if what he's saying here turns out to be true, then the RTX 40 series could be even faster than we were originally expecting. Now we do have to keep in mind that cards like the RTX 3090 were rated for around a 1.7 gigahertz boost clock. So if we move all the way up to 2.8 gigahertz or even possibly higher on cards like the RTX 4090 Ti, which are supposed to have in an absolutely insane 600 watts of power draw for its TDP, then yeah, that's going to be a massive improvement in terms of its performance because not only is the RTX 4090 Ti supposed to have over 18,000 CUDA cores, which is going to be a massive over 70% increase over the RTX 3090, but if we also throw on top of that a 1 gigahertz plus clock speed improvement over the RTX 3090, that's going to make for an absolutely insane increase in terms of performance because at least in my experience, clock speed definitely scales a little bit better in terms of performance versus adding more CUDA cores. Of course, adding more CUDA cores is going to give you more performance, especially if the actual architecture itself is made in a way that it scales very well. But yes, clock speed is always going to scale better because when you add more and more and more cores, it does get a little bit harder to go ahead and fill those cores with jobs for them to do. Whereas if you just increase the clock speed, yeah, that's always going to be the better way to go. So I'm actually getting very, very excited to see just how fast the RTX 4090 really can get. And maybe who knows, we'll actually be able to overclock these cards all the way to three gigahertz and at that point, we're going to be talking about like a 1.3 gigahertz increase in clock speed over cards like the RTX 3090, at least when you take a look at their boost clock. But as exciting as the RTX 40 series update was, this next piece of information I want to go over with you guys really takes the cake. And honestly, guys, this absolutely made my week because as it turns out, it looks like Nvidia might have actually overordered when it comes to the RTX 40 series. Now, I know that we just talked about RTX 40 series availability and pricing in a previous video, but it looks like I might have actually been a little bit too conservative as this update is going to suggest that Nvidia might actually not be able to raise their prices too much and might have too many GPUs, meaning that yes, indeed, getting an RTX 40 series card near its launch at its MSRP could definitely be a reality, at least depending on the SKU that you're looking for. Now, this information comes from a tweet from the Twitter user Retired Engineer, where he put together some key points from a digitimes.com article, and let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, just to give you guys some quick context, originally it looks like Apple, AMD, and NVIDIA went to TSMC and tried to actually reduce the amount of wafers that they were going to get out of TSMC's next generation processes, as it's starting to look like demand is significantly lowering, but the results are 
definitely varying depending on the company. So according to retired engineer, here are his key points. One, Apple iPhone 14 mass production already started, but initial shipment target of 90 million units for first wave cut by 10%. Two, faced with an abrupt drop off in PC demand and customers inventory adjustment, AMD and Nvidia had no choice but to reduce orders. Three, AMD reduced orders for seven slash six nanometer wafers by 20,000 in total for quarter four 2022 and quarter one 2023. However, order volume for five nanometer wafers for PCs and servers have not been affected. Four, Nvidia after defecting from Samsung back to TSMC and making huge prepayments to secure more five nanometer and below capacity, now facing weaker than expected demand from gaming, along with enormous channel inventory and used GPUs dumped on the market by miners, wants to cut orders for next generation five nanometer RTX 40 series. However, TSMC is unwilling to make concessions, only agreeing to allow delaying for shipments by one quarter or even to quarter one 2023. Nvidia, however, is responsible for finding replacement customers for any vacated production capacity. Five, above may result in TSMC revising full year revenue downwards. So there you have it. Oh boy, Nvidia is going to be in for some big trouble because not only does it seem like there's going to be an absolute flood of GPUs hitting the market right now, as that is currently the case, especially if you take a look at eBay, there are tons of cards well below their MSRP that you can have at any point in time. And if you take a look over at Nvidia's Twitter account, they just look desperate. They're constantly trying to tell people like, look, this video card's back in stock. Please go buy it, please. And everybody in the comments is just absolutely memeing on them because Nvidia basically dunked on the entire gaming market for over a year and a half as they were selling record amounts of GPUs, yet for some reason, gamers couldn't actually get any and they're all ending up in the hands of miners. Yeah, very, very suspicious stuff there. Uh, and so, of course, gamers are absolutely pissed and they're dunking on them over on Twitter, but it's looking like, well, gamers are finally going to have their time in the sunshine because not only can you get good prices on GPUs right now, which by the way, I am going to do a GPU pricing update in the near future here, so make sure you subscribe for that, but it's starting to look like the RTX 40 series could be a very similar situation with there being way too much supply and not enough demand because not only like I mentioned in my previous videos they're going to be basically no demand for miners whatsoever because not only is mining essentially dead at this point but the RTX 40 series is really not going to be increasing its bandwidth whatsoever so even if uh, in mining was actually going ahead and it was still going strong at this point they still wouldn't be actually really any better than the RTX 30 series for mining anyway so mining's out of the question gamers are definitely a lot less in demand as there's no sort of crazy viruses going around the world so not everybody's locked inside so there's less demand from gamers as well meaning that the overall demand is way way down and then you throw on top of that that they actually increase their orders for their five nanometer capacity very very significantly uh yeah there's going to be way too much supply and not enough demand which actually you know what that makes me take a look at my last video and think hmm maybe they're actually not going to increase the pricing as much as i originally thought maybe instead of there being an rtx 4090 for 1800 maybe it'll be 1600 now 1600 is still absolutely ludicrous for a GPU, but hey, if we can go ahead and reduce the amount of increased price every generation as much as possible, that's a good thing because there's been a awful trend of increasing prices way too substantially every single generation that's been far outstripping the price of inflation uh, for far, far too long. So that would definitely be a good thing if we can minimize the increase in price. And in fact, it'd be even better if we could get no increase in price or even go backwards and maybe get like a 4090 for $1,300. That would be amazing. Probably not going to happen, but over Overall, yes, it's looking like the RTX 40 series is going to be a fantastic generation. And honestly, you know what, NVIDIA, this is what you get. A bunch of your GPUs did end up in the hands of miners, and you probably could have done a lot more to go ahead and stop that, but you didn't. And so this is what's going to happen to you. You're going to have a situation where the next generation, just like the RTX 20 series, you're not going to sell nearly as many as you wanted, and gamers are finally going to have a ton of good options to look at, whether they're looking at our RTX 40 series at their MSRP, or maybe even looking at the used market for the RTX 30 series well, well below their MSRP. Either way you slice it, it's going to be a absolutely fantastic generation for gamers, and this is probably the best news that I've heard in a very long time. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think the RTX 40 series is going to be easy to get at its MSRP, or do you think it's going to be a repeat of the 30 series? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.